guys welcome back to our channel cc jewels um today we're going to be talking to you guys about the power of social media the impact it has on teenagers now social media as we all know can be dangerous and it can work to your advantage as well so caitlin what would you want to say about social media um i think it's what you make it if it's a place for diminishing and bullying people then you know that's what you make of it but like what we are doing we're using youtube as a platform to help people to motivate people that's a positive outcome of social media mm -hmm. but these days it seems like social media is about keeping appearance you know doing the next hairstyle you know the upcoming outfit you know the old gucci and all that but sometimes social media you, you just need to take a step back and actually um, figure out what you, it is you're listening to and what it is you're constantly feeding yourself. Mm -hmm. Because if you constantly feed yourself, you know, pictures of, of celebrities, you obviously want that. And by wanting that, you start doing things maybe that are, you're not ready for yet because of your age. And that will actually confuse you and dim, like, yeah, that's bad. <laughs> yeah. And I also feel like social media will actually, like, I think lower one's self-esteem, depending on how you use it, mm -hmm. and you also lose your identity, like who you are, because you're trying to keep up with the next trend, like Caitlin said, you want to keep up with the next um, outfit, you want to copy what other people are doing. If you see someone um, taking pictures in a big, huge house, you are going to go drive to that big house and take pictures so that you can be like that somebody, which is actually not worth it. You should actually just be yourself, yeah. own yourself, own who you are, and don't lose yourself in the process. Because social media can take you to the, you know, Definitely. downside, yeah. and it can also lift you up. Yeah. So it depends on also how you use it as a teenager. And you can use it for business purposes. You want to advertise your own goods, use it for that. You can even use it for, what else can you use it for? Um, so many things you can use so it to advertise your, your business, business. You can use it to your products, what to you're like what doing to motivate YouTube. people. You know, um, yeah, yeah. I think that's, oh yeah, and also teaching people. Uh, yeah. there are so there are so many kids that maybe they're good in mathematics and mm -hmm. they do videos on it. How like to teach the young ones or those who don't understand what to do in maths. You mm -hmm. know, so yeah. So it's not always about the pictures, the good pictures, the good filters, the good this, the good food, the good travel, traveling, everything. It's mm -hmm. not about that. It's also about inspiring other people out there. Because some people actually do need your help. Some people do need advice somewhere, somehow. Mm -hmm. And you know, you could, you could just start something. Just start by teaching a young child, you know. And you know, that child will eventually thank you for the good work and the good teachings you have taught yeah. them. And I also think even if you like the bling bling, like um, if you like the big houses, you know, the mansions, the Bugattis, you know, just start small. Don't just rush into it. I think mm -hmm. getting to know what it is that these artists do to then achieve what they have now is what's very important. Because if you, if, if I say that I want this big house that my mom has, <laughs> you know, and then I rush to it, I... I get married early and then, you know, I'm like, what have I done now? You know, if I want this big house, I have to ask my mom, what did you do? Who did you consult with? Mm -hmm. what, who were your friends? Who were you partnering with? What were you watching? What were mm -hmm. you listening to? Mm -hmm. You know, to then want to have a big house like this. So I think not just taking whatever it is that you see on social media, but asking yourself or asking them how it is that they got to this part of their life and i also think teenagers there's this like thing of getting money easily like on social media yeah. you see a certain site you're like oh my god i can make money yeah i can make like 500 bucks yes you can but sometimes it's not that healthy yeah. you, sometimes for you to be successful you need to start from the bottom mm -hmm. if you Nothing. want to be a billionaire you know you have to start from the bottom for those who like make music i think empire yeah. i watched the series it's amazing um they started recording music in their house like they lived in the ghetto they started in their basement that's how they started their music and they began to grow yeah. and then they built this multi-million thing i know it's a tv thing but it's something also inspirational mm -hmm. you have to start from the bottom mm -hmm. not all things not all things will make you happy yeah. and no thing not all things 
I just hand it to you, yeah. then Caitlin said. Yeah. Social media is not always the answer to money problems, to keeping up with appearances, mm. to bleaching. Yay, yay. Especially bleach and mm. makeup. Mm. Yo, if someone sees someone yourself with makeup, better, you want to be like Nicki Minaj. Yeah, you like, say, <laughs> you're like, Nicki Minaj puts on good makeup, She's so I'm nice going to do the same thing. Like, you know what? Some of these products, some of these things that we use, they just damage our health yeah. a lot. Mm-hmm. In the future, you see after five, ten years, and then you see you've got some liver thing or some you have got skin cancer, or you've got skin a uh, skin rash or something, and you wonder what happened. And you're like, oh, because I wanted to that copy. Time, yeah. You wanted to do something that other that other people were doing, mm-hmm. which is not necessary. Mm-hmm. So, guys, please do use social media as a benefit. Use it and take it as a good advantage. Yeah, and don't listen to negative criticism or negative things. Because also social media will make you, you know, like the what Crystal said, have a low self self esteem. Mm-hmm. You know, if I see Crystal in in a Range Rover, you know, with like so many trees, and she's mm-hmm. taking pictures, and then I'm like, oh my gosh, look at where I am, and look at what she had, you know, and you start saying, so what am I? What is my purpose? I think that's that's so bad comparing yourself to someone else's life, which is so bad. Yeah, but guys use it for positive things please yeah. so what are we saying use social media for positive things do not use social media to damage your life or to damage or destroy your reputation you were let's say you have been a good person ever since you were in grade seven and all of a sudden when you turn 18 you are now addicted to social media. It's all about keeping up with appearances. You want to bleach, you want to take this, you mm. want to train with that. You will completely destroy your reputation. Yeah. So please, guys, do not destroy your reputation or your career or your future. Whatever you want to do in the future, don't do it because you want to please social media. Please. Do not. Because sometimes in the future when you want to look for a job, companies will not hire a person where uh, you know they will actually search your name yeah like, yeah, yeah. Oh, like oh, so let's so see with this person in the yeah. middle like oh crystal and then they're gonna search and then you're gonna see videos of you you know getting drunk and yeah. then you once took pills to mm. get like enhancement in the hips and mm. the everything and they saw you taking some skin lightening creams and then you got a rash oh, at some point bad. they would just say you know what this person is not good for a job they, yeah so although, they would just although, fire you although there are some jobs that actually look for people who stay up with you know with with the time with the instagram and all that but just be safe enough to say okay yes i know what is what instagram is i know what's there but this is what i use instagram for this is what i use youtube for this is what i used facebook for mm-hmm. you know yeah anyways guys thank you guys for watching our channel i hope this was very helpful to you guys yes. and please guys let's not forget please do ask yourself is social media going to be going to place a negative or a positive impact on my life yes. please ask yourself that question every single day when you hold that phone <laughs> you go into your whatsapp you go into your instagram you go into your facebook twitter anything yeah. ask yourself is this going to benefit me yeah. if it's not then why are you doing it yeah. if it's not then just leave mm-hmm. but if it is going to benefit you then do it. do it i know we use whatsapp for communication you can communicate but sometimes when you feel like you know what there are a lot of fake people i just don't want to do this it's okay to uninstall some apps for some time because mm-hmm. you want to work on yourself. It's okay. But also ask yourself, guys, is social media a positive or a negative thing yeah. in my life? So guys, subscribe to our channel. Give a big thumbs, thumbs up, up. And please, in the comments, ask questions or contributions that you guys have. Put them in the comments. And yes, get a, help us get to 100 subscribers. Yes. We'll be dropping a dance video. Dance video. Bye, y'all.